Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the pullet blouse from Fibermood. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to support my channel. Let's get started. You will find a link in the description for the pattern from Fiber Mode. I pre-cut the fabric and marked all the notches ready to get started. To begin with, take the front panel A's and place them flat on your surface. Make sure that the right side is facing up. Then place the yoke on top with the wrong side facing up. Pin the yoke to the front panels on the shoulder seams, but make sure that they line up. Then sew along the seam allowance of the shoulder seams. Now that's all done, overlock the seams and then iron the seam towards the front panels. Iron the seam allowance at the center front by 1 cm over to the wrong side like this. Next, fold over the center front once more where we have the V notches already cut in the fabric. Make sure to do this for both sides. Sew along the edge of the center front here to keep it in place and again do this for both sides. Now we need to move onto the collar part. Iron the bottom of one of the collar pieces by one centimeter towards the wrong side. Take it easy on this step because it's not as simple as it looks to get right. Then I place that collar piece on top of the other one, making sure that the right sides were facing each other. Pin and sew the collars along this edge. Then I trim the seam allowance a little bit and cut notches into the seam allowance along the edge that we just sewed to prevent punching. Be careful not to cut too deep and cut through the sewing we just did. Open up the collar piece and sew along this edge through the fabric and the seam. Pin the bottom part of the collar piece that we didn't sew along the wrong side of the top of the neckline. Fold the collar piece that we ironed over to the right side of the neckline. The fold line should match the previous stitching. Pin and sew it into place. When you're done, it should look like this. Place the two flounce pieces together with the wrong side facing out. Pin the edge and sew along here.
Next, overlock that same edge. Now, fold the unnotched edge of the flounce over by 0.5 cm and then fold it over again. Iron the edge to help keep it flat, ready for when we sew. It should look like this when finished. Then I did a long stitch at a low tension along the notched edge with extra thread at the start and end for gathering. Normally you should sew two parallel long stitches, but I prefer to do just one. Having two stitches will come in handy if one of the threads break. Now we need to gather by carefully tugging the ends of the threads to ruffle the fabric. Make sure the notches on the flounce matches the notches on the front and your piece and ensure that the gathers are distributed evenly. The flounce has to be placed wrong side up and once you are happy, pin the flounce, matching the markings and sew approximately 0.5 cm from the raw edges. Pin and sew the shoulder seams of the front panel piece and the back piece. Next, overlock the edges and iron the seam allowance towards the front. Pin and sew the main two pieces together, making sure that the markings match. Then overlock the same edge and iron the seam towards the central front. Overlock the sides separately and then, with the main piece inside out, pin and sew the side seams of the front and back pieces together. Then open the seam allowance and iron. Onto the sleeves. Overlock the sides of the sleeves. Cut into the sleeve from the notch in the hem to the marking thread. For the sleeve binding, fold the strip in half lengthwise to make the middle fold. Next, fold the ends into mid to middle crease and iron. Open up the sleeve binding. Open the sleeve split and place the sleeve binding along the split. Pin the one end and sew. Then fold over the other side of the binding, tuck the raw edge under pin and sew in place. Do the same for the other sleeve. Turn the sleeve inside out and we need to sew diagonally along the sleeve binding here. To make the pleats, fold the notches at the end of the sleeves over to meet the next notch. Pin them as you go and stitch the pleats around 0.5 cm from the edge. Pin the sides of the sleeves and then sew them. Open the seam allowance and iron to flatten it. Iron 
I already ironed the interfacing to the cuff pieces in advance. Fold the cuff in half lengthwise with wrong sides facing each other and iron to create a fold. Open it back out. We need to take the edge with the marking threads and fold it over by 1 cm towards the wrong end and then iron. Fold the cuff in half along the ironed fold line with the right sides facing each other. Sew the short ends and then turn it the right way round and iron. Slide the bottom of the sleeve over the raw edge of the cuff. Pin and stitch just to one side to the sleeve. Turn the cuff back out to the outside of the sleeve and place the fold line over the stitching. Pin and sew the edge to secure the cuff to the sleeve. Now we will attach the top of the sleeve to the armhole. Make sure that you match the right sleeve with the right armhole. You can easily do this by matching the notches in the top of the sleeve and the armhole. Carefully Sew it in place and then overlock the edge. Iron the hem allowance up at the V notches and then open it back out. Fold the edge to the fold line and fold up again. Sew the hem in place close to the edge. I didn't follow the button pattern, I just did it as I wanted. And there you go! I hope you will enjoy making this blouse. Let me know in the comment section if there are any patterns that you'd like me to try. I'll see you next week! <laughs>